So what I have here is a pair of uh, frame sliders. There are three frame sliders that I get from supplyanddemand.com. They're Delrin frame sliders that uh, are originally developed for, I think, a Honda. But I read on the boards that it can be used for a Kawasaki Ninja. It actually says Honda 599. So what I have here is I've got the bike on a center stand. So there's really no strain on the chassis here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this bolt here. So I'm back with the uh, frame slider and as you can tell the screw is much longer for the frame slider and it makes sense to be too because the one that comes with it will only fit so far and it certainly won't uh, reach the other end. Even if it did it would have so little play that that's not worth using. So I'm using the one that came with the the frame slider and I'm going to be inserting it here to make it all the way to, to the other side. There we go. Okay, I see there's this little peg thing right here that's stopping it from going in. If you take a look at this piece right here. That's what's stopping it from going all the way in. That part right here goes right into the foot peg to make sure that it doesn't rotate. So the question is whether or not I cut into there. So it seems like in order to make this work, I'm going to probably need to notch out just a small piece of this right here. Now it looks like I just need to have a small piece of this cut. I'm not exactly sure how, this, how well this will work, but let's give it a quick try. So what I've done is I've made a little bit more of a groove there so that it dips down a little bit and see what fits now. Okay, we're back at the bike here. And let's go ahead and remove my pin. Put that on there. It looks pretty good. Pretty much we only shaved off a very little bit. But it should be enough to get us where we need to be. Perfect. Actually, it's kind of interesting that this actually provides a little bit of stability because now it doesn't rotate as much. One, one back here. Right. Wow, that actually does feel really, really sturdy. But I don't know how much force can be put on this thing if the bike were to go down. But for a softball, I'm pretty sure that this would work out. I'll take a look at this. It's protruding probably right along the level here. So this would definitely just take the hit first, it looks like, if it were to tip. It's hard to say whether or not it would be, whether or not depending on how it tipped, whether or not this would hit first or this, because this is a little bit lower. but. Looking pretty good right now. 